the pictures are blurry and pretty pixelated, yet Boulder police hope that someone will recognize the people involved in the worst of the chaos up there Saturday night. Started out as a party on University Hill in Boulder by day and turned into a riotous mob by nightfall. No one was seriously hurt as police officers and other first responders were targeted. Tough questions tonight from members of the community about how this happened and why it wasn't stopped sooner. Neighbors on the Hill say this problem isn't new. Here is 9 News reporter Katie Eastman. I just want to apologize. It's, it's been a long couple of days and I'm feeling it right now. Lisa Nelson lives on the block that gained national attention over the weekend. She says Saturday night was a symptom of a problem that's been going on for decades. I think a huge point of this entire conversation is that our ordinances are not effective. That was a focus of the Zoom call with residents, CU Boulder administrators, students and police, all discussing the aftermath of the weekend. On Saturday, the first rules students broke were public health orders. But Boulder police said they've struggled to enforce those in the moment. When the police arrived, they were running inside of residences and they are locking the door and they're not answering the door. Police could consider requesting search warrants and knocking down doors, but don't think it's a best practice. And, and we can't use that type of force when it's a mere violation of a public health order. On Saturday night, when the party escalated beyond a public health violation to destruction of property and violence against officers, police said they didn't have many options for enforcement either. We are walking a tightrope to disperse them without using force. There were students chanting, get out of our neighborhood. They think it's their neighborhood. After 30 years of sharing this block with students, Nelson and her neighbors hope this time something changes. It's every day, it's every night, and it's noise and it's parties, and you call the police, and you call the police, and you call the police, and nothing ever happens. Katie Eastman, 9 News. Tonight, Boulder's police chief said they already have suspects for property damage. Investigators are going to look through the photos and videos over the next couple of days. You can take a closer look at the photos they've released. We have them in this article on 9news.com.